What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jeff Kasser and this is... Mario. Adrian. Yes. Hey, what's up? It's weird not to be my YouTube channel. It's kind of cool, yeah. This is my inspiration right here. In life, you know? For YouTube. For YouTube. <laughs> he brought me back. So I'm thankful, man. Look at Dude, it. Dude, I, I, I saw you on YouTube. I saw you in Vegas showering and stuff, you know, and I thought, <laughs> this guy. And I was watching your stuff like three years ago or something, you know? And now yeah. we're here, traveling yeah. together, sleeping in the same bed almost. Should you know? we tell them what we were doing in Mexico that we were... Smashing? Skinny dipping. That was fun. I love that you're like an adventure buddy, you know? You're just as crazy as me, you know? So we have that. If you guys want to see us skinny dipping, make sure to check our OnlyFans links. They are in the description below. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my video last week, but I did a Q&A with Travis Bryant. Our goal is now to make this video better than the video with Travis. We thought it was only appropriate, or I thought it was only appropriate, <laughs> To do the Q and A with Mario. <laughs> nice. Right? You should start off every YouTube with that. I think I will now. I like that. I've got A <laughs> boobies, bro. Like A cups. You've got like borderline C. I'm just gonna quit feeling. Like so. <laughs> oh my god, bro. How do you do that? Your legs are strong genetically. I have like chicken legs kind of. You got strong legs, bro. I have strong pecs, you know what I mean? I'm built more for smashing, you know, for smashing. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm built more for like, I don't know what this is for, for pec bouncing, I guess. We asked you guys on Instagram to give us some questions and we got some really, really good ones here. Yeah. I already checked them. Usually they become quite sexual. So I'm always looking for these questions like, hey, we're in the COS in five years. What's the purpose of life? But they're all like, show us your dick. Who's got the longer dick? Have they already smashed? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Well, 85% I would say are, you know, sexual. I actually like this one right here. What does bromance and friendship mean for you guys? Wow. I mean, those are two terms that kind of are flowing into each other, you know? Like, yeah. where does bromance start? Where does friendship end? Yeah. yeah. But I always have this feeling about relationships. We always look at relationships, right? In a romantic way. And we have these, like, standards. A relationship has to have sexual intercourse. A relationship has to have trust, right? All these things. But I feel like a bromance has all these aspects of a traditional relationship, minus the sex to Traditionally. But if there's sex in the bromance, it's a smashing bromance. You know what I mean? Okay. But I, I just love the freedom of like having a person, like a friend, who gives you the same things your relationship would give you, just minus the social standards and expectations that come with it, you know? Wow. It's basically an excuse to smash your best friend <laughs> without admitting that you're gay. <laughs> I'm, like kidding. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I guess we kind of have a bromance, would you yeah, say? 100%. Yeah, 100%. I mean, we travel together, bro. We live together, you know? Yeah. You tell me about your feelings, it's it's great, you know? Now we've showered together, it's like... Wow. Yeah. Skinny dipped. We have done that, too. We've yeah. wrestled. We have wrestled, too, This man. is mostly on OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, you know, I met Mario about only two months ago, guys, and now we're basically living together. We move very yeah, fast. We move fast. And I think we approach life similarly, Yeah. as in we try to be open, uh, we want to be free, and I don't want to be, like, in life I don't want to be the captain of the ship I want to be open to new experiences and really just see where it goes I love that and so I like how I approached with you is that I don't know what we're gonna end up you know I don't know no, we're who gonna cares be. I mean it's always like I live this thing in life and have a tattoo that says follow your impulse which basically means that whatever feels right in the moment I'm gonna follow the impulse no matter if people think it's wrong no matter if people like are gonna talk about me no matter if like it doesn't live up to the expectations of other people and that's always what made me the happiest you know I went to New York to go modeling even though I didn't know anybody all my friends Everybody in school told me this is crazy, Mario. You shouldn't do this, you know. I still did it. Turned out to be always the best decision, you know. I want to say yes to more things in life. Mm -hmm. Like, you mm -hmm. know, when you asked me to smash the other day, I was like a little weird about it at first. I'm totally. like, where's this going to take me? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it worked out well. <laughs> totally. No. <laughs> <It was great. laughs> Mario, how do you feel knowing Jeff had a crush on Travis? This Travis Bryant, just for you guys. <laughs> No, they said that. I didn't say that. You know, that, yeah, was, that was them. Yeah. That was them. So did you have a crush on Travis? Like, what's the status on that? I love how I turned this question on <laughs> <in> you. <laughs> I like Travis. I do like Travis. Yeah, he's cool. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna compare him to you, you know what I mean? I've had good experiences so far with Travis. Make sure to check it out on OnlyFans. <laughs> crush, I don't know, crush is kind of a strong word. Yeah. I haven't spent as much time with him as you. You see how I'm dodging this question? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's a borderline crush, you know? Yeah, I mean I get it with him. Yeah, I get it with him. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> 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 
gonna be cool, man. I think you, me, and Travis, we have different personalities too, you know? Mm -hmm. I think you and I are more similar, and Travis is like a little different, you know what I mean? Like, um, his skin color. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, we are more like adventurous, you know what I mean? And Travis yeah. likes a bit more of that stability, mm -hmm. which is amazing. We've always like complimented each other very well in that sense. Knowing that you, I mean, the crush on him, it's just like, you know, it's not a feeling of like, I'm jealous. It's like, cause we, we're not like dating in that sense, but like, we all three are very close. So there's a little bit of feeling of being left out, right? When I was in Germany, you guys were filming, I was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know? I yeah. was like, okay, wow, you took my spot. You know what I mean? But it's cool, it's cool. And I hope that very soon, like you, me and Travis can all be in LA together and hopefully go on a trip together after COVID. You know what I mean? I would love that. And just yeah. like I was telling you that I want to be open to new experiences and say yes. You know, when he asked me to come over and do some YouTube, you know, he has all these great ideas and I wasn't really sure about yeah. all of them, but I wanted to be open to the world. So I, I said this before said yes. at the end of the world, like at the end of <laughs> the world, most people like before they die, they interview people like about the things they regret on their deathbed. They all regretted the things they didn't do. Almost none of them regretted some of the things they did. Usually you learn from the things you do and it kind of, that's what life's about. You know, it's about experiences. So saying yes, I think it's a good Bro, you have the smoothest face. What do you do? What's like, what's your regimen? I mean, I don't mean to embarrass you here, but wow. I think it's just very clean diet, to be honest. I don't use any facial products, do you know that? Now I now use like a moisturizer, but not really. Only if it's sunny or something, you know, I just eat clean. He's got that baby face, yo, look at him. I mean, I'm, I'm, sweet. I'm young, bro. God dang it. I wanna be young again, bro. But you've got that beard, bro. I wish I had a little <laughs> fish in here. Bro, I've got a chest here. <laughs> One, two, three. I mean, it's coming up, bro. It's like at least 12, bro. Yo, your chest hair with my nipple hair, and we could like, you know, maybe do something. <laughs> yeah, bro. About five. Bro. Nice, <laughs> nice. We make babies, bro. They're evenly like, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. I don't have any chest hair, bro. Yeah. It's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> Now that I think about it. <laughs> All right, Mr. J asked us, he says, so what about that first kiss? I've talked about it a little bit on YouTube that I've never kissed a guy, and I've told you that I want you to be my first kiss. Now, I want it to be perfect, though, bro. <laughs> you know, I want the setting to be perfect, I want the time to be perfect, and I want to make sure that, you know, you're cool with it as well. If I can lure Mario, <laughs> this is going to be my first guy's We're kiss. We're planning it, okay. We, think we can maybe... Now make it special. This is a good setting. <laughs> Got into it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make it really special for you, though. Okay. You know, I want like All a freaking right. right. like a sunset in Hawaii. You know, like some mm. some birds, some baby penguins. You know, Ooh. um, like you know, <laughs> like a, a Mexican mariachi <laughs> band. You know, <laughs> that sounds terrible, actually. Oh, wow. That sounds terrible. Like but something this. special. We're gonna make. Honestly, let me take charge of that. You know. Wow. We're gonna make something happen for you. I you love know? that. Yeah. You yeah. got me, bro. You captured me there. So let me ask you a question, though. If you have a kid, first kiss with, well, what do you expect to happen? Like, do you think it's going to be different from kissing a woman? What is your expectation with that? Well, that's my interest with it. I want to know if it's better than kissing a woman. I feel mm. like sometimes when I kiss girls, like, there's not a lot of action in there. You know, it's usually like okay. me just getting all deep in there because I'm a passionate kisser. Okay, got you. You know, I really like to exercise that tongue. Exercise that tongue. So I want to know if, like, that's going to be reciprocated to me. Oh, or if it's just, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm kissing a girl, it's like me, like, really you're more dumb. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah she's yeah. like, you know. <laughs> so I'm wondering. Bro, what kind of girls are you? <laughs> Those Latinos, though, I think they're more on top of you, you know what I'm saying? That's true. The That's Latinos, true. they come in yeah. hard. When I first kissed the guy, it was like interesting because it is more of that strong. I like also dominating people. So it was kind of like for me, it was hard to also let go because I want to be in control. For example, when I kissed Travis for one short film, it was difficult for me because like he was giving me so much and I had to like kind of learn to also surrender a little bit more, you know? So I think that's also part of it, you know? Too strong masculine clashing, you know, like the wrestling video or something we did, you know? Yeah. It's a different dynamic than kissing a woman for sure. I like that fragility in women. I like the mm. fact that I could like physically dominate them and they seem helpless. It makes me feel strong and needed, you know? I feel like the protector. With a man, it's, it's a very different dynamic. So that's interesting, actually. And actually, yeah. your video with Travis on OnlyFans, that spawned my interest because I really, mm. I don't know, you guys had that slow-mo and it was like this kind of almost like a quick whiplash right when you did and I was like, whoa. I saw yeah. your tongue come out there. Yeah. I was like, like a lizard, you know what I mean? I think I started pitching a tent downstairs. Pitching a tent. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I'm German, but I can, I can imagine. <laughs> I can be <laughs> Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh my God, it's, I, I see it now. Yeah. It's your tent. Pitching a tent. Wow. Yeah. I have a vocabulary list, you know, and I'm going to add that to that, you know? I'm going to start saying that now, you know? You say as you much as possible. <laughs> Do you all get aroused being so close with each other? For me, occasionally. Yeah, like right now. Cool, watch for this. 
is the tent what's all oh, okay <laughs> wow that's a good tent bro yeah. that's a good tent it's man where that came from it's one it's <laughs> one of those it's <laughs> i actually really really like mario and like i was telling you guys i didn't really know what to expect when i first met him a couple months ago you know i really love his energy and it was like right when i met him afterwards it was like we just hopped on and we're just going now it was super impulsive you know like we had lunch that one time you know and then went to a hotel shop there and then i said let's travel go to hawaii you were like boom i'm aboard i really appreciate you man it was my birthday i was alone in mexico and you were like i'll come down next day boom you're there you know and i'm actually more attracted for guys more masculine man <coughs> you're very masculine. Like, <laughs> you know travis well, except is, for my lack of chest here but you know <laughs> yeah travis is actually fairly masculine as well like his yeah. at least his appearance you know for sure yeah his energy is a bit more feminine and more maternal you right. know what i mean he's, he's our, our wives wife. yeah do you get aroused from um, yes, it happens for sure. But more of that, that sensual stuff, but also sometimes when you're filming together, especially if you have a photo shoot or something, you're sometimes so focused on like the shot and all these things that are going on, so you can't really let go, you know, and focus on that. Right. So like, but when it's a moment where I can like kind of focus on the moment, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. So let's do one more question because we okay. have a photo shoot today. Yeah. Only fans and whatever else we're gonna do. Tumblr. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> this one is specifically for Mario. Mario, which blonde YouTuber do you prefer? Hashtag Team Brett Maverick or hashtag Team Jeff? Well, I gotta say you guys are very similar. Do you know Brett Maverick? No clue. Ma Brett Maverick's like this dude. He's a, he's a YouTuber. He's like lifestyle stuff on YouTube. Uh, we did a video back and we both started together around the same time on YouTube. I also lives in LA. I made a video with him peck bouncing. <laughs> I gotta say this man has a good bounce. Okay. If you think I've got a good bounce, check out the video at Pep Bouncing with, with uh, Brad Maverick. He's got a fantastic bounce. I gotta say though, I think you've got a bit more energy, you know what I mean? So I think I... Also, I'm sitting right next to you. What am I gonna say? What <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, you know? Gonna say I think you're a bit more experienced, you know, you have more life experience, and also you've got more of that, like, spontaneous spark. You're a little bit like a kid, man, I love that, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you win, anything bro. else you want to say? In life, sometimes you're faced with a decision, you know, and then it's not about making the decision for somebody else. It's about making it for yourself to so say yes more often, follow your impulse and don't be afraid of you know, the expectations of other people. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And Mario, thanks for being my inspiration, bro. I'm back on YouTube because of you. So Amazing. Thank you. How often are you gonna post on YouTube? Weekly is the plan. I've got this video. I wanna do a podcast with you. Let's do it. Like, we have a lot of travels coming up, you know, like, you're in Brazil or something, we gotta stay here a little bit, shoot a music video for me. Then we're gonna go back to LA, meet Travis again. There's a lot of stuff coming. So we have a lot of like content and life, just a lot of life happening you know what i mean we gotta do that first kiss too bro don't forget to yeah. squeeze that in there somewhere squeeze that in there thank you guys much love we love you don't forget about my other talent that i have can you move your testicles up and down one at a time one at a time can just you really like though just like that well, you have to it's like a, you gotta like kind of squeeze in like that you know what i'm saying like uh, you gotta make a full youtube tutorial about that <laughs> guys if this, if this video gets 5,000 likes jeff is gonna show you how to move one <laughs> testicle at a time up and down on youtube up and down and down. Bye.